So today this is the Hershey um, RV show and it's open to the public and we're kind of walking around and getting to look at things the same way you would if you were here. Right. Class C's, fifth wheels, I mean, they're, it's all here. It's all different types of things. And there's a lot of different things we've seen too. We saw a new camper that we'll show you that it's nothing like we've ever seen anywhere else. Mm -hmm. um, we saw a European style camper that was here that was really neat. We did. Um, Winnebago has a uh, accessibility um, with a wheelchair lift in their uh, motor home, which was kind of different and, and new. Mm -hmm. A handicap accessible motor home. Um, there's everything here. Right. So check it out with us. Yep. feeling. Mm-hmm. Look at the curtains. They're cute. Yeah. And it's got everything you need, you know, for a, a weekend or so. I mean, it's got bath. Is it a wet, wet bath, I'm guessing? Yeah. <coughs> Not a great place to put a plant. Mm. If you're not barefoot, then you're overdressed. Yeah, that was really cute. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, so uh, the Intech as a brand, and as a matter of fact, uh, this one just is a debut today, being debut. This is actually a prototype. Oh, okay. Um, this has been out for a month now. And then right behind you, when you do get turned around, that's the Soul Horizon, which is the bigger of them. Um, these are totally aluminum frames. Everything's fiberglass. They use a product very similar to Asdell, so no worries of delamination. Right, okay. Um, really nice high-end qualities inside. A lot of people compare them to Airstream, which they'll take that compliment all day long. <laughs> uh, price point, they're a little bit nicer. Very lightweight, the tongue weight's really nice, which that's probably one of my favorite parts because of the big windshield and inside of them. Mm -hmm. The great part is, is like this one right here is about a 300 pound tongue weight. So say you get to a state park where you want to go to, you back in like everyone else does, put the wheel on the front, Swing it around. <laughs> Stop looking at the road like everyone else and look at the lake. They tow fantastic. I mean, they're just rooted down and solid and just, they just tow right along. And the great part is that even with like a mid-sized SUV um, or a lightweight truck, a lot of folks, even I've sold this one with a lot of Ridgeline trucks, Tacomas. Right. Very capable of pulling something like that. So definitely um, a mid size or compact truck will tow yeah, it. Or, yep, or absolutely. Or like I said, a Ford Explorer, Dodge yep. Durango type size would even pull this one, let alone these would be fine. You have six foot of six foot six inches of stand up ice space. I see that. Yeah. Um, this one here is a little bit different, where the bathroom's in the back, so you're getting that little bit of a curb, so that does shrink down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it's about five foot nine, but still a great amount of space. And what's cool about this 
is you can spin this cable around any way you want, but when you're here like this, you can now put this bed down, it turns into a full queen size bed, but say she wants to take a nap and he's like, I'm not tired yet, I wanna watch TV or read a book, he can now still sit up and read a book at the table. Oh, okay. Then yeah. when you're done and everyone wants to go to bed, then put the table down, put your extra piece of cushion and you kind yeah. of get a little bit more sleeping space. Yeah. You know? A lot of nice windows, which is a nice yeah. feature in these. I don't know if you look inside the bathroom, but most bathrooms, when you get into these, you know, you're shrunk all the way in. Here, you got here, you're you've got actually room. Yeah, it's I mean, an elbow room. Big guy, or any small guy either. Um, and so uh, a lot of room inside those. And this is actually the most compact one I have here again because of the crest down on it. Right, the yeah. right, right. Um, where your other ones, you'll have six foot six inches of height even in the bathroom. Yeah. Now, do these have trailer brakes? They do. They do, yeah, okay. They come good. with electric trailer brakes. Um, pretty much comes as you see. Oh. Now, on my bigger horizon, there's an option of the outside kitchen and things like that. We're actually the only dealership in the state of Pennsylvania right now for that. So, a little bit out of the ordinary, and uh, you're seeing something a little bit different, and the quality is really nice. I like to think of this as a generational camper. Yeah. Keep up on regular maintenance tires and brakes. Kind of yeah. like you see the old air streams from the 40s and 50s. This will last. It will stand yeah. the test of time. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got such a cool look to it. Hey, I'm Jake Daniels, Forest River No Boundaries Regional Sales Manager. We're here at the 2019 Hershey RV show. What we're going to show you today is our 2020 10.6. 14 feet long. The way that it sits right now is less than 2,000 pounds. Industry leading ground clearance, 13 inches. Comes with a Dometic 13.5 air conditioner with a heat pump in it, as well as the Nobo Nest. There's a 500 pound load capacity up there. So now, with a 14-foot trailer, you can have basically four full-size adults can camp in something in a package this small. Mm -hmm. This is compact and it, it stores in maybe 30 seconds and obviously it just deploys just like this. This ladder is extendable. I'll show you the kitchen here too. You have a full kitchen here. This is connected to a 30-gallon fresh water tank. CFX uh, Wi-Fi cooler, so you actually, while you're driving down the road, you can get on your phone and set the temperature. This will run off of 12 volt or it runs off of 110, so really, however you're, you're camping out there, uh, uses virtually zero energy. Uh, the Batwing awning, again, is super easy to use because all of these support poles just deploy themselves, and it packs up right into this nice little case. So it doesn't get in the way of the extra kayak racks or the Novo Nest, it doesn't get in the way of any of that. Right. Also, the ramp door here, the main purpose for this is so that anybody that likes to use uh, four wheelers or a couple dirt bikes or something like that, or just larger equipment, mm -hmm. uh, it's safe because you can lock it in here. But like a Grizzly 700, you can wheel it straight in here and we have 4,000 pound D hooks on the floor. So it's safe in transit and uh, you can just you store it just like that. That's nice. So you can carry your four wheeler, your, your motorcycle, whatever oh, yeah. you want. Oh, yeah. Take your toys in your kayak above. Yep. yep. What's the rack rated at the top? 500 pounds. 500 pounds. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. That's good. Have you climbed up there yet? No, I haven't. You ought to take a trip. I should. I it's, should. it's very cool. It's very cool. Yeah. It is, it is very nice. I appreciate the, the walk around. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks for the time. Sure. Good, how are you? Good. Save 50% on camping? Oh, interested in checking it out. Sure. Passport America. We're all over the nation, Canada and Mexico. And you get to save 50% at over 1,800 campgrounds. All of those places for $44 a year, plus four months free as our show special. Oh. So I'm here with Eric from Technical RV and 
Nice to meet you, Eric. Hey, hey, good to meet you. Glad you came by. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so tell us a little bit about your uh, company. So the uh, the company's TechnoRV. It's TechnoRV.com. So mm -hmm. we have an online site that we sell technology products to uh, RVers. And right. uh, that would be things like Wi-Fi boosters, cell boosters, electrical protection systems, tire pressure monitoring systems. We've even got Berkey water filters. And uh, our, our business model is kind of built on uh, customer service, making sure that we give the customer plenty of information to make a, a educated decision on what they need for their RV. And then, once they purchase, we've got a, a support staff that uh, is there to answer the phone. They're super knowledgeable. And so if you ever have any questions about anything you buy from us, you just call, we'll help you right. out. And it's just, uh, it's worked for us. We also like to come to these RV shows uh, to make sure that we're staying in front of our customers, to hear what they're saying about our products and uh, giving us feedback and input right. so that we can make changes as we go. Because as you know, technology is always changing. Yeah. And uh, we want to be kind of the, the first to market with things and make sure that our customers are taken care of in that way too. Yep. And one of the things I've noticed, um, I've looked at your website and looked at the products you, and you seem to kind of specialize in taking the guesswork out of, you know, there, there's, there's 10, 20 different ways of doing something. You've gone through and figured out what works the best. And then you, you go in and you put the information out there so that the average guy who's not a technology yes. you know, based person can figure this stuff out. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, we're full, we are full-time RVs, uh -huh. so that helps tremendously. Uh, uh, and we're simple people, you know, so I like for things to be simple, and so that's the way I see the world as I'm traveling. So right. uh, as I look at technology for RVs, I know that sometimes that type thing can be complicated on trying to come up with a solution for a particular problem. And so the way I approach it is in a very, very simple manner. Uh, if you want to get complicated with some of these things, I can do that as well, but it's not how we present things. We write information guides that anybody can understand, Right. and uh, I appreciate you saying that because we, we hear that uh, a pretty good bit from RVers, so it's good confirmation that we're doing the right thing for RVers. Yeah, I mean, because you can, as, as an uh, uh, RVer, you can go out and look for a solution, and if you go you know, on the internet or Amazon or something, you're going to be just hit with a bunch of different ways of doing it. And you don't know until you really either read the reviews, and even then, then you don't really know. Yeah. Or you you just fork out your money and see if it works. Yeah. And then you're probably disappointed that it didn't work, and you end up having to try something different. Yeah. So. And I see that in, in whenever I'm shopping for things outside of uh, my comfort zone. Yeah. Uh, I feel that same thing that you're saying right there. So uh, as I'm experiencing that. Uh, in other areas. I try to relate that back to our business and think, hey, if I was a customer on this product, how, how would I want that spoken to me so that I'll understand it better? And that's just, that's our business model. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Well, Eric, thank you very much. I do appreciate your time, and, yeah. and I'm glad we got the opportunity to connect here. Well, I, I, uh, I uh, subscribed to your channel. Thank you. Uh, uh, here a few days ago, and I've been checking all your stuff out, so keep up the good work, and look forward to seeing where y'all are headed next. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. All right. Bye now. Own closet. You always wonder what you do with little closets. Yeah. Put your dice in there. The dice can go, go there or way in the front. Yeah. Control center, breaker panels, slide controls, residential fridge, as you can see. Uh, one of the neat things in this unit, we do a uh, pull-out pantry. Oh, nice. Dovetail joint drawer boxes everywhere on our cabinetry, so it's all real wood, nice and durable. And then soft close here. We have a little pull-out cutting board here, so just That's extra nice work surface. Yeah. But a lot of our owners full-time in our unit, so kitchen space and cabinetry and storage is a must as a home. Yeah. Um, and right. then 
And we fully warranty our units for full-time use. That's kind of our niche in the industry. We build our own frames, cabinetry, sidewalls, everything's built in our shop in Kansas. So we're actually, we're a custom builder. I was just going to ask so, you, are you yeah, custom builder? Yep. yep. So we build two lines of trailer, the Summit line and the Majestic. What we're standing in is our Summit. They're pre-engineered, pre-designed floor plans, but then you choose the colors. If you don't like the dark wood, I'm not offended. We'll do, you know, painted cabinetry, unstained cherry. Our our walnut brown is in this trailer over here next to us. And then our Majestic series is fully custom, from 32 up to 48 feet length. Oh wow! No slides, up to six. We'll build you a two bedroom, a toy hauler, a front living room, a front kitchen. A real, honestly, you name it, we'll build it. Right. So, it's, you want to pay for it some of it gets expensive so yeah. but what's the length on this one this is a 37 foot trailer okay yep. and that's from the pin to the bumpers 37 foot six inches exactly overall length is like 39 six right cap to ladder so we told this was something like a f uh f350 3500 dually yeah. uh gmc 3500 do okay. little tow this really nice so what time or above yeah. Yeah. would you would like? yeah now when we start getting bigger yeah. going from from Corian type counters to quartz or granite, add a generator, washer dryer. I mean, there's all these things we do that cause the weight to go up. And sure. then we start maybe needing to talk to you about a little bigger truck. <laughs> <laughs> we start thinking about that freight liner, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, it's kind of a, a different ball game that, that we do. We build about 36 rigs a year. So it's not a high volume, push them out the door. Right. And we slow down and attempt to build it the very best way we can. So, What's the wait list, wait, wait time for one? So uh, it takes us about three and a half months to physically build the coach. Right. Depending on our backlog, it can usually vary from four to six months. Right. Um, at our shop in Kansas, we build about 10 at a time from chassis to completion. So it's it's like a production assembly line, just not on the scale that the big guys in Indiana sure. do. Sure. So but. very nice. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for stopping thank in. You. I was listening. So this is a Lance Toby line. about this one, <coughs> it's accessibility enhanced, and basically means there's a wheelchair lift right here on the side. So as we step in, there's a wheelchair lift right there, mobility here, the whole setup, we can shower. Very open. The bathroom is very, very open. Mm -hmm. can wheel, wheel right underneath there. Even really access to the everything, even the bed and everything. See here, when we get old and decrepit, there's a hole. Yeah. If you look at I mean, the whole floor plan is very open. Even the uh, kitchen area, you could easily, you know, work in here. No, I think it would be nice to have something maybe that came out a little lower. Tables accessible. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Different market. Mm -hmm. So they have I'm having the, uh, three different models. Flip. They have the accessibility. Oh, yeah. Great. Are my levels going? Flip. 
Hope you enjoyed this video of the Hershey RV Show. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And, and subscribe to our channel. And we will see you down the road. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Where do you want me to stand? In the picture somehow. Mama. You're right there. Thanks for visiting the sweetest place on earth. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give us a... What? Start over. Okay. What do I do? You're, you're speaking too much. You don't let me get in.